What's up, guys? I hope you're all well. Chadio here. It's Friday. It's Four Ronnie's Friday. Oh, yeah. We made it through another week. We're going to start off the Four Ronnie's Friday with courtroom quiz. If you're new here, hit the subscription button. Ring that bell. Also, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Let's get into the courtroom quiz, shall we? You are, are you not, Broderick William Gerbil, 14 Rangoon Terrace, Biggleswaid? I am, yes. You are, are you not, a forensic scientist specializing in the study of rare blood stains? No. Nope. <laughs> are you a road sweeper? No. Nope. Are you a trick cyclist at Billy Smart Circus? No. Nope. Um. Sounds like they're playing 20 questions. You ever play that game as a kid? <clears throat> People have to guess what you are. Yeah. So it reminds me of 20 questions. Could I, uh, could I use this product that you make at all? <laughs> uh, not personally, you wouldn't know. <laughs> has it, has, has what you've got to do something to do with, um, with, with animals? Yes, yes, it has, yes. Yeah. Has it got something to do with uh, injured animals? Perhaps? Yes, yes, it has. Ah. Do you make artificial beaks for disabled budgerigars? <laughs> <laughs> that... Very well, guest counsel. Thank you very much, Eli. Now, Mr. Gerbil, you are charged with first degree murder. <laughs> How do you plead? Not guilty. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to prove you're not guilty, starting from now. On March the 27th this year, a dramatic incident took place at the home of Sir Hugo Milverton in Weybridge. What was it? He was found lying on his study floor. He'd been poisoned, he'd been strangled, he'd been shot five times through the head and stabbed 15 times in the back. Correct. And what was the conclusion of the police? He was dead. <laughs> uh, well, that's one conclusion the police were able to figure out in this case. Correct. The precise details of Sir Hugo's death were never made public. So how could you possibly have known about them unless it was you who murdered him? Uh, pass. Right. How do you explain that a fortnight earlier you had purchased uh, a nine-inch dagger, two yards of piano wire, twelve-bore shotgun, six bottles of concentrated strychnine from a Little Woods shopping catalogue? <laughs> you may answer, you may answer. Uh, I was trying to control some green fly. <laughs> You're on there, green fly, man. With a twelve-bore shotgun? Yes, well, the particular green fly that infests my plants, they migrate every year from Polynesia to Peckham, and they can grow up to 36 inches in length. No, 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 no. <clears throat> Surely an Orongo is a kind of Tibetan yak, whose horns are ground down to powder by the locals and made into a bedtime drink instead of Horlicks. <laughs> oh, very plausible, my love, but I'm afraid I'm going to plump for uh, Mr. Gerbil's giant Polynesian green fly. <laughs> Oh, it's good. This is great. <laughs> now tell me, were you later searched uh, by P.C. Bramley? Yes, he had a rifle through my pockets. And what did he find? A rifle. <laughs> and was not that rifle loaded with blanks? Uh... Was not that rifle loaded with blankety blanks, Mr. Joe? Uh... What do you say? Bullets? Bullets or cartridges, I would have said. What did you put, my lord? <laughs> yep. Well done, well done, well done. Mr. Gerbo, where were you at the time of the murder? Uh, I was in bed, my lord, reading. Uh huh. Reading what? Uh. Oh, oh, a book. Yes. Reading a book, yes. An old book, yes. Two words, two word title, yes. First, first title, yes. Second. Trousers? Trousers? No, short trousers. Short trunks. Oh, underpants. Why fronts? No, 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 ladies' why fronts. Oh, uh, knickers. Knickers. <laughs> yes, knickers off. Oh, no knickers on. Oh, dear. Uh, knickers without knicker. Knicker, knicker less. Nicholas, Nicholas. Ah, second word, yes. Yes. <laughs> sounds like, sounds like, sounds like, sounds like knickers, is it? Sounds like knickers. Ah, yes. Knickers, knickers, you mean? Knickers. Okay. What, parson? <laughs> parson? Parson, parson, Nicholas Parson. <laughs> 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 Nicholas. Oh, Parsons' nose. Nicholas Parsons. You can't get Nicholas on a Parsons' nose. <laughs> I've never heard of that book. Counsel. Nicholas. Nicholas. 
Yes, V. V. Nickel. Nickel V. Nichols, Nicholas, Nickel V. Well, I think I've heard enough evidence now, and it's time we had a verdict. Uh, I'm going to play my Joker, my lord. Uh, as you wish, <laughs> wish counsel. <clears throat> I hereby uh, call upon the foreman of the jury, Mrs. Doris Natwick. Uh, come on down. Yay! You're the next contestant on Courtroom Quiz. <laughs> Do you find Mr. Gerbil guilty or not guilty? Guilty as charged, my lord. <laughs> in that case, I sentence the accused to 20 years in prison. Uh, 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 but you played your joker, counsel. So we'll double it up to 40. <laughs> and that's all we have time for now. But do join us next week, and who knows, you could stand trial for murder. Blackmail and extortion. <laughs> Until then, it is goodbye to Doris Natwick, <laughs> Roderick Derbyl, and our champion tanto, Adrian Wigweasel. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's a funny sketch. I like that sketch a lot. Uh, let's see if there's anything left at the end. There might be. Yeah, okay. Just dropping balloons and having a good time. I like this sketch a lot. That was hilarious. That is f actually funnier than hell. I wasn't expecting that it to go this route that it did, but I enjoyed this one a lot and i hope you guys did too with that being said i want to thank you all for watching stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands bye